Body language is a type of non-verbal communication and refers to those gestures, movements and expressions that help us deliver our verbal message. Body language is just as important as the words we use. The following do's and don'ts will help you ensure that the impression you leave is the right one. Do use a firm handshake. A weak handshake will convey a lack of confidence. But try not to cross your fingers either. A handshake should never last more than a few seconds. Don't put your hands in your pockets. This will either make you seem extremely nervous or extremely bored, neither of which are good impressions to leave your audience with. Do use gestures to enhance your verbal communication. This is especially useful when given a presentation or pitch and will engage the audience more and make you more memorable. Be careful not to overdo the hands though. You want people paying attention to what you say and not be distracted by frantic hand movements. Don't cross your arms. This will make you look defensive, closed off or bored. Sometimes we cross our arms when we feel cold. Be aware of this and try to minimize it where possible. Do maintain eye contact. Avoiding eye contact may give the impression that you lack confidence or are hiding something. Don't stare though, as this will make your audience uneasy. If you feel uncomfortable, look away for a few seconds or try looking at their nose. Around 10 seconds of good eye contact at a time is a good guideline. Don't fidget. We frequently touch our hair or stroke our ears or face to calm ourselves in nervous situations. Jerky movements distract our audience and make them uneasy. Bear this in mind and try to keep this to a minimum. Do smile. No one wants to work with a miserable person. It's okay to be nervous, but a smile can go a long way. It makes you look more relaxed, comfortable and personable. Don't slouch. Bad posture can make you look defeated, bored or insecure. Keeping your shoulders back and your head high will give you an air of confidence. Do show your enthusiasm by keeping an interested expression. Nod and make positive gestures to show that you're engaged. Be careful not to overdo the nodding though. Don't fill silent pauses with ums and ahs. These silence fillers will make you sound less intelligent. Your message will be more effective once you eliminate them. Practice taking a deep breath or a sip of water to give you a minute to gather your thoughts before moving on to the next topic or sentence. First impressions are lasting impressions. Remember these do's and don'ts and your first impression will be a great impression. Here on bizcrowd.com, we have a variety of resources and tips to help you with the different aspects of running a business. Feel free to check them out.